morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is Wednesday morning, December the 14th of 2022, and I trust you have your cup of coffee and you have your copy of the Word of God open to the book of Ezekiel in chapter 38. The book of Ezekiel chapter 38 is where we will be this morning, and I trust that your day has started out well and it is only going to get better. And um, we're looking forward to a good day. And of course, um, it's always a good day when I can look forward to getting together with my congregation. And we trust that it is going to be a great one for you. Let me turn our attention to the bad dad joke. I asked my wife what she wanted for Christmas. She told me that nothing would make her happier than a diamond necklace. So I bought her nothing. Okay, this Christmas I'll be in the doghouse. Anyway, but um, we'll leave that and we'll continue on. And of course, with it getting very, very close to Christmas, um, I am in the Christmas spirit. I'm looking for, indeed, um, Christmas bad dad jokes. And um, you can tell that they're pretty bad. Again, we are in Ezekiel chapter 38. I trust you're going to open your copy of the Word of God. You're going to follow along with us as we read that in just a few moments. And um, as we look toward the day, again, we've got prayer meeting tonight. And I understand that Thursday... We're supposed to get some snow. We'll see what God has in store for us. We'll accept what he gives us, and we'll go on from there. So let's go ahead. Let's bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father, and we'll get started in the Word of God. Let's pray together. Father, what a joy it is to be in your presence. Thank you. Thank you for a brand new day. Thank you for being able to look forward to prayer meeting tonight. And Father, we do trust that everything we say, everything we do today, would bring honor and glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, as we stand before you, you know what awaits us. You know the opportunities. You know the blessings. You know the challenges. And Father, by your grace, we pray that we would respond to each circumstance in a godly fashion. Father, again, we do want to just say thank you for each one that joins us today. We thank you and we praise you for them. We do certainly ask for your blessing upon them in their lives. Father, we ask for literally nothing but your very best for each one. We pray that each moment that they would find themselves walking in your will, doing your work. Father, as we do so, we ask that you would bless us. Help us to see your hand at work. Continue to meet our needs. Strengthen us for the tasks at hand. Father, we pray that you would bless your work. We pray that you would bless your word. As we stand before you, Father, we are ever grateful. Father, we are indeed getting excited about the Christmas season. And Lord, help us to keep ever before us the real meaning of the holiday. Jesus Christ, God taking upon himself human flesh and dwelling among us in order that he might die for sin. Father, again, that's beyond our comprehension. We do thank you for loving us as you do. Now, Father, again, we ask your blessing upon this time together, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Ezekiel, book of Ezekiel, chapter 38. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, 
and prophesy against him and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling the swords. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with, with them, all of them, with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Tugamora, of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company, that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. After many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword, and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste. But it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Thus saith the Lord God. It shall also come to pass that at that time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates, to take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited, and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations, which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. Sheba and Dedan, and the merchants of Tarshish, with all the young lions thereof, shall say unto thee, Art thou come to take a spoil? Hast thou gathered thy company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away cattle and goods, to take a great spoil? Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto Gog, Thus saith the Lord God, In that day, when my people of Israel dwell safely, shalt thou not know it. And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. And thou shalt come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter days, and I will bring thee against my land, that the heathen may know me when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, before their eyes. Thus saith the Lord God, Art thou he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring thee against them? And it shall come to pass, at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, saith the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake in my presence. And the mountains shall be thrown down, and the steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground. And I will call for a sword against him. Throughout all my mountains, saith the Lord God, every man's sword shall be against his brother. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood. And I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him an overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know 
that I am the Lord. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Beloved, I trust you're going to have a very, very glorious day. Remember, God is always faithful. God will always honor his promises. So, beloved, go out there and serve him, be obedient to him, and using our phrase that we use every single day, be faithful. Be faithful to God. Beloved, never allow yourself to become an excuse by which another might turn away from Jesus Christ. Let's glorify him today. Let's be victorious today. Remember, God loves you and so do we. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.